I have great pleasure in presenting to you another timeless treasure. Free Macards TV. Hello. The video that you're about to see is one of many that I've done of the First World War. So after you've seen this one, please don't forget to check out my others and to rate them. And if you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe icon because I'll be doing lots more in the future. Thanks and enjoy watching. Hello YouTubians and internet adventurers. I have a wonderful treat for you today. A set of World War One artillery in action issued by John Player and Sons well over 90 years ago. I don't think you can accuse the artist of these amazing illustrations of uh, glorifying or over glamorizing war some sets of cards that I've seen in the past um, of World War One scenes tend to look a little bit staged and artificial but this one has succeeded in capturing the dirt and the grime and truly uncomfortable nature of wars. Now, this freedom of expression, perhaps, might be due to the fact that these cards, I believe, were issued after the war. Despite the fact that, um, if you have a look in the catalogue, it says 19, it dates these cards, as uh, 1917 it says but if you read the backs of the cards it uses the past tense for the war it says many howitzers of this type were used during the war and you see that throughout all the descriptions which makes me conclude that perhaps these were issued just after the war Anyway, um, throughout history, knowledge and information have slowly eroded the power of the ruling elites, highlighting the corruption of the 16th century Roman Pope and inspiring people uprisings such as the American War of Independence, the English Civil War, the French Revolution, etc. In World War One, the ailing ruling classes turn this normally democratic force against the people by successfully using propaganda. This propaganda inspired by Freudian psychoanalytic theories eventually backfired in the aftermath of the war when the public realized how they had been ruthlessly manipulated the recent Arab uprisings have shown how difficult it is for dictators to hold back the truth when the channels of communication become faster and more difficult to control, as with mobile phones and social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. Anyway, let's get back to these great cards. Although none of the cards mention anything about chemical warfare, most of the soldiers depicted on these cards, most of them that is, seem to be wearing chemical warfare masks, gas masks. Which I haven't seen um, so much on other World War I cards. Anyway, during the, the supposed Great War, more than 9 million combatants were killed, largely because of the great technological advances in firepower, without corresponding advances in mobility. These days, there is a public outcry when one soldier dies, let alone millions of them, the weapons in this set would certainly have contributed to the mass carnage seen in World War One. Card number, and talking about uh, number one, 
card number one states that the 15 inch howitzer is able to hurl a shell weighing two thirds of a ton a distance a total distance of six miles the description on the back of the uh, card featuring the eight inch howitzer uh, pictured here states that over 380 thousand tons of 18 shells were showered on the Germans so you can imagine how many casualties there are, were after that lot came down um, card 5 states that um, 25 million four and a half inch howitzer shells were fired in France alone as the uh, 60 pounder gun here According to uh, this card, fired not uh, was it ten million rounds in the war, and nearly a hundred million of uh, this eighteen-pounder field gun. Yeah, nearly a hundred million rounds of ammunition were discharged by this gun. Now. Although mobility lags way behind firepower during uh, World War One, the worst there are signs on these cars that it was improving. Heavier than aircraft, sorry, heavier than air aircraft were used for military purposes during uh, for the first time during the uh, World War One, and as a result, weapons were designed to uh, counter this new uh, weapon such as the anti-aircraft gun pictured here now the uh, 9.2 yes the 9.2 inches uh, guns accuracy was uh, aided by reconnaissance aircraft and in the description on the back of the 8 inch howitzer card it states that special tractors of the caterpillar pattern were used for moving these howitzers those same caterpillar tractors, tractors inspired the designs of the first ever military tanks that made their debut towards the end of the first world war so this is a fantastic set of cards that really gives you a strong insight into uh, warfare. Please don't forget to check out my other World War I related uh, card set videos. And I've done vids on a whole host of other quirky collectibles. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com.